And we move on to a local spotlight now. Hillcrest High School is getting a renovation from an unlikely partnership. That's where we check in with Daniel Shedd joining us with the volunteer that started it all. Yeah, Joe, there's a lot of way for parents and really any community members to get involved in the school. Rather, this could be a first, though, picking up a broom and starting to push. Pastor Chase Wagner pushed past the office, classrooms, the cafeteria, and countless lockers without pause. The Hillcrest Teachers Lounge is another story. And it was nasty. Aged tables, torn couches, and uninviting walls were inside not long ago. In his words, a place no one would ever want to hang out. That's when inspiration struck. I've even caught myself as a parent saying, you know, my, the, the legalistic aspect of a teacher is they're required to teach my kids, they're required to do this, I pay this and I do this. And then at the end of the day, it's like, they're a person like I am. This is their calling in life, so let's try to support them in their mission. His congregation at Hamlin Baptist Church were soon painting. They also put on order new chairs and desks with the financial backing of local coffee shop owner Eric Huey. The more we sacrifice to do that, frankly, the better we do as a business. Our perspective is better, our customer treatment is better, everything gets better the more we are looking at people out of ourselves. The final product they hope will include a coffee maker, as well as grab and go snacks for when teachers forget a lunch. In essence, a place where teachers can do more than just make copies. Oh, it means everything. Hillcrest Assistant Principal Kirk Slater. Too often, the people in the community, they're not engaged in what's happening in the schools. And uh, that's, no one's to blame for that. I think that's just a reality. So it's exciting for me to see us have the opportunity to reach out and connect with our community members. Now, guys, not only does Chase have his own broom, like we mentioned earlier, actually, Eric and Chase also have other projects in the community that they're saying we're going to find out. This is such a giving effort. We want to find more needs in the community to try to fulfill it. It sounds like they're not short on projects. So it's it's amazing to me when people make time for that. Everyone's right. busy. Everyone has things to do. But for them to set some time aside, it's really amazing. Well, actually, you know, when Chase went in there, obviously there was a lot of uh, dirty work that needed to be done, right? I mean, you had to paint the walls. You had to bring in these new tables, these yeah. new chairs. There's a lot of handy work that has to happen. They went to the church and said, hey, we need people to help out with this. And before you knew it, they basically got it done. So, wow. Great story to start your morning with. Thank you very much, Daniel. Yeah. Let's take a look at what's coming up.